So I beat this crazy boss. And then it told me to go back to the mainframe or something. Yeah, mainframe vault. Looks like it's going to be fastest just to walk over there. Excuse me. Coffin's illegal. Don't you know that? I'm a real though, don't cough around me. You see me in real life. <laughs> there must be some dust in this room because. I don't know what's happening last time I was coming in here. Oh my god, get away, get away! Okay, something's happening here. Something's happening. It's all shaking. And, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going into something. I wonder if I should, like, go... <laughs> if this is, like... <clears throat> kind of final if I should go clear up some loose ends. <laughs> Let's just see what happens in here. Oh my god, looks like it's gonna be like a final boss or something. Alright, so if I die that's fine, I can uh, go do more exploring. Okay, I, um, I have a lot of stuff to do. Like, I have some more areas to explore. <clears throat> That's cool to know. That. Oh, there's a chat, but it's not showing up on my interface. Uh. Good one, thank you. Nothing was good about that, though. Um, yeah, see, this is all of this. I have a new ability now, so I should be able to unlock. Also, I was watching back, and there was some like area that was open to go into that I totally didn't see. Yeah, right there. Oh, I missed that. But I want to see if I can crack into this whole locked area here. Maybe now that I can fly, I can open that one too. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to head down here first. <clears throat> so... There's a train up there. That's cool. And then I can fast travel. So, that one, the waterways train. Okay, fair enough. This 
Jesus. Insane. That thing, those damn laser beams. <laughs> wait, 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 what's in here? Oh, I probably couldn't do this. How do I do that again? Yeah, no. You can't double jump out of that. That's the only weird thing. Oh, man. I really gotta go high. Clip just under this. Okay, sweet. Okay, that's something. It's another one of those things. I still don't know <laughs> what it is. Oh, there's a little hole. Oh, that's just so I don't have to go through the BS again. Hmm, makes me wonder if I can... <laughs> Alright. Peak, <laughs> Peak 151 comes in. So now, okay, now the chat's showing up on my interface. That's cool. Peak 151 says shut up. Alright, that's kind of rude, but... Uh, luckily, I know who Peak 151 is, so I won't take any offense. says, tell me about this game. So there's like another Metroidvania style game. Super fun. Yeah, basically, like, uh, is this the train? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Oh, it's just up one more. Okay, so like all Metroidvania games, I got this giant, um, like, like think like a Metroid game, right? I got this huge 2D map. <clears throat> uh, no, uh, that, I think that was Hollow Knight. Uh, so this is a lot like, in, in fact, this game, you know, could fairly be called a Hollow Knight ripoff. Uh, it's, but it's very cool. It's a very cool game. Uh, so basically, yeah, like any Metroidvania, you know, I got this huge 2D map and you explore one area at a time and there are areas that you can't access. And then you go fight a boss or you find a power up and now now you can backtrack and you know now I have a double jump or now I can uh, fly sideways or now I can teleport through walls and now I have to backtrack to this area I couldn't access before and you slowly unlock the whole map so you can see in uh, five installments I've like covered most of the map here and this mainframe vault here Kind of got sent there, and it looked like it was almost like a final boss. And I'm not, uh, I kind of want to go do more exploring before I attempt something like that. Yeah, so I uh, on YouTube I've been doing more like the RPG gacha games, and uh, on Twitch I'm trying to do more like action games like this. My love for Metroidvania games will never die. So many good ones out there. Uh, everyone's waiting for the Hollow Knight sequel. It's been years. But once that drops, it's going to be like the ultimate. So we're heading to the water ducts. Yeah, so this game you can only play on Steam, by the way. It's supposed to have a Nintendo Switch release later, but...
unfortunately not on all of the consoles yet. All right, so I have some new abilities. I think I might be able to crack into this locked area a little better. So, okay, got to over, down, left. Designs are really cool. Sound effects are cool, music is great. Play control is really nice, very satisfying. Pretty underrated game, actually. Basically flying. Teleport through enemies. Deep one fifty one says Brooklyn says we sound alike. Yeah, I think we do. A lot of people have said that. Some of your friends, uh, last time I was in town, were like, were like, oh my god, you sound exactly like, enter your name. I tend not to use real names on the streams. But uh, it's it's come up here and there, and I, I've even said my real name a few times. But far plane, that's who I am. My YouTube's going really well. Uh, Twitch is uh, abysmal. Like, <laughs> I stream and nothing grows here, but uh, YouTube's going great. I just hit um, past uh, hundred subscribers, and. Um, and then it just kept going to like 125 or something. And that's, uh, that's cool. Actually, yesterday, last night, I popped into one of the communities for the game that I stream. And uh, I don't just stream it. I cover it. You know, I cover updates and whatnot. And uh, people are talking about me. <laughs> well, I wasn't quite ready for that. So I know that when I started doing all this, I was like, all right, how am I going to handle like, you know, quote haters, you know, or people that come in and they're toxic or whatever. Totally didn't think about, um, you know, <laughs> witnessing people talking about me, like <laughs> not at me. Right. So that was okay. Some of them were like, oh, ha ha, he lost. <laughs> Because I, I was like playing, um, it's like player versus player in that game. And some people were like, oh, look, look at how he loses to my team twice in a row. And like, but they were still polite about it. Like they were kind of not really talking smack, but kind of. It, it wasn't too bad, but still like seeing it was like, oh God. Uh, what was the last thing you said? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, there was the uh, Harry Mac and there's the... Uh, yeah, I haven't done any music react stuff. So somewhere in this place I stalled out and couldn't progress. I wonder where it was. But I can do that now, so... Uh, 
stuff, but oh, oh yes, yes. This means I cleared the map. Right on. Uh, peak, uh, 151 says, if you do the Harry Mac one, call me so I can pick a good one. Right on. I saw something, oh, on Reddit. There's a Reddit I follow called Next Effing Level. And someone posted a Harry Mac freestyle. Sweet, so check this out. Now, now, new accomplishment. Now I have the map for this place. And, looks like I've cleared it out. Except for this area I'm in. Because obviously, I haven't cleared it out if I haven't got the map yet. teleport through those. You have to unlock them from the other side. That's probably why I missed it, because it's, like, covered. No, it was just a, um, a Reddit post where people post things that are next effing level. And they just posted it, saying, hey, this is cool. Whoop. Okay, down there from the left. Oof, I gotta go all the way around, I think. Because obviously I haven't been there if I haven't unlocked that little connector. Check out this lawnmower. <laughs> so cool. I mean, talk about Metroid. <laughs> like, I can roll into a ball and everything. train station in here. Well, whatever, I'll just walk all the way around. Actually, did I try that? Oh, it was, it was already in there. Anyway, I've played a good number of these Metroidvania games, and this is maybe my favorite behind Hollow Knight. Tape. I had to go find a cassette tape from far away and bring it back to her. Okay, here we go. Oops, 
All right, so let's go save and heal. down there now. What? Oh, oh, that's up there. This was something I must have already done. Just to be thorough, let's review. Nice, okay. There must have been something else I didn't do in here, so yeah, because I can't really get up there. But I can do this now. Okay, <laughs> so nice, nice. I don't think I've been able to get up in here, so. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I've been through here and I just wasn't thorough and didn't make those connections, because... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else to do here. Oh, that's something. Oh, so glad I came back. So you get three of those, you get a new, like, health up there. <clears throat> toy. Noise. Noise and toy. Um, so I guess next we'll go up to this. This locked area here. See how we can progress there. So where's the nearest train? Station. I guess this one, the, that one right there, should be the quickest, or that one. Nah, probably that one. 
Okay, so factory facility. There's a train right back there. No problem. I wonder if there's anything else in this place. Now that I can fly all over the place. Alright, thanks for the follow, Peak 151. Maybe, just maybe, my Twitch channel will grow. Gotta get to 50 followers before I can start getting paid. Apparently, uh, Twitch is pretty good for that once you get to that point. I've been told that YouTube is not so lucrative. Like, you have to really be pulling in millions of views for YouTube to, like, make a living, you know? Something worth working towards, if you ask me. At least for side income. Slowly, uh, you know, working on my setup. I already have the nice, you know, microphone and the room looks great and all but uh my next acquisition is going to be a green screen so i can make nice images with my face over a background all cut out all perfectly it also looks cool to, to stream like that but i like the look of this room so much i don't mind having the room as part of the shot plus i got a gun blade back there the thing is so cool man Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII, by the way. Squall's weapon. Alright, so I can't remember last time I was in here in this locked area. For whatever reason, I couldn't progress, but now I can fly... Wait. No, I can't fly in here. That's right. So what is... Oh, these guys are a pain. I can't remember what is holding me back in this place. Maybe, um... You see, while I'm in this fiery zone, I can't use my stuff. Because my meter up there is all maxed out to endure the heats. But I think I get to a non-fiery place in here. Alright, let's just go high first. Ok, 
Crystal Stoney comes in the chat and says, Hey! What's up, Crystal? Thanks so much for joining. I have this habit of looking at the map even though I know it's locked. <laughs> Stoney says, always love your stream, friend. Well, thank you. I always love the company. Okay, so this is a dead end. Yeah, and I can't use any uh, moves in here. So I'm on that low one and just remember why it is I can't progress in here. Or at least find the map. Because I believe... This is the only area I haven't unlocked the map for. Hmm, what about that little zone that I haven't... Yeah, I have a map unlocked for everything else. Oh yeah, there was... Um, I wish I could point, but there's a little area there. In the red... Off to the right, right above the yellow, where there's a place to go there. So that'll be next, I guess. Oh, that's lava. Yeah, yeah. See, because there's like a, a shortcut lock there that I have to access from the other side. And yeah, yeah, I can use my meter again. So this is what why I couldn't progress. Now I can fly. So wish me luck. <laughs> Gonna have to really figure out the timing on this. Probably right before this one comes. Oh my god. Or heal up. I'll probably have to do some stops and jumps. This is gonna be tough. Some tough puzzling here. Oh god. Mm. Did it. Did it! And here's the map. Yes! Alright, so, <clears throat> achievement unlocked, no more mischief. My camera's probably blocking that. It popped up in the right little Steam achievement. So that means I have all of the map. Alright, cool. So that might be a boss over there, actually. And... Little area... Off to the right down below me there? I don't know. Let's just keep... Oh, I'm... Okay. Huh. Alright, nice little breakable wall here. No shorty cutty. Okay, so... Okay. Wait. But there's all that to the left. Why can't I get there? What? I don't see any... Should be right to the left. Very interesting. It looks important too. It looks like a like a boss or something. 
Hmm. Look at this beast of a map. Really confused as to why they're showing me a whole area. Uh, it's just on the other side of the wall. Yeah, there's no way through. All right. is not agreeing. Look where I came out. So, when I was in there... Well, hold the phone. When I was in there, it was showing me as being up there. Maybe some kind of weird glitch. So, if I go back... So, I have been through there then. So, that's that's nothing. Okay. So, really, the only point of that was to get the map? I know I just did this, but let me just go look again. Yeah, so I did fight a boss there at one point. And then here you get the lore. So yeah, so, okay, this place is cleared out then. All right, so this little thing right here looks like the next place I can go. I just have to walk all the way there. Oh, you can stand right next to it. Can't teleport. Right, let's go grab that save point for the heal. And just review what is over here. Oh, these pain in the, the pain in the neck. This enemy's a sure is a gosh darn pain in the neck. Golly, golly! Oh, this guy's even worse. And there's, a little, there's some lore here or something. So that's that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe um, the mainframe, maybe that's like a. I don't know if it's the. Like a final boss? But, um, it looked pretty scary. And, uh, otherwise, I think all the loose ends I have to tie up are just little extra bonus items. There should be two more... ...of, um, these. Actually, there should be another key, too. There was somewhere I couldn't progress because I needed, a, like, a certain kind of key. And also... I don't know what to do with this key. I haven't found where that key goes. So there's some things to do here.
Ooh, two critical hits. Nice. I think I've been all through there, but actually you have to... No, I can take the elevator down. Yeah, I've been through there. That's cool. Sneaky little passage there. Alright, that's looking okay, so let's head down. through here before so maybe that's it or is there two ways through yeah. oh but look there's one of those things i haven't gotten yet <laughs> which by the way i know i say it every time i still don't know what those things do over here this time wait I just simply didn't go in here yet that's all it was oh it's down there <laughs> nothing okay wow yeah no it was wasn't locked wasn't Locked behind having to, having a, needing a new ability. I just haven't gone here yet. Holy! Whoops! I already did my double jump. So, is what I gotta do is here is roll into a ball and land in there. Okay, and. Oh, look at that little pipey thing shooting up at the entrance there. What is that? Alrighty then. Nothing there. Something up there, but also to the right of me. It's another little curl up into a ball thing. Ooh, what is it? Auto repair, a new chip. Nice. Let's see what it does. Automatically repairs the last health capsule that was broken. Only used to repair without stopping. Exactly, it can't just automatically heal every time. What does it do? Give me a better explanation. Whoa, look at that glitch. Crazy. Alright, gold. Right, cool. so this is a cool little corner to come in. We got a new little chip. that little pipe you thing is just the return right there okay cool 
that's that. All right, where else do I need to... Oh, look, there's a little question mark right there, in there. Let's check out those question marks. <laughs> Crystal says he's a roly-poly. <laughs> yep, just like Metroid. You know, paying an homage to the classics. I just love using this new one right here. Yeah! I could see some, like, crazy potential, like, platforming potential, like, where you gotta do this and then jump and then do this and then jump. All right, straight across. another question mark there so that's cool they give you the question marks saying like hey pal you haven't gone here yet if you're reading this my body has already deteriorated deteriorated my core program has shut down to honor their greatness they assigned me to build shrines across arcadia each shrine was to be made of spare parts to demonstrate its significance since I cannot regain control of my motor-driven parts, I request that you continue my work. And you're reading this? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Crystal Stoney says... Sorry, I missed out. I gotta look at my phone here. Oh, <laughs> the Crystal says uh, something about the sound sounding like Crash Bandicoot. Nice. I never played that one. But you know what game I did play? Banjo-Kazooie. Mm -hmm play Banjo-Kazooie for Nintendo 64. This is a killer game. I wanted to play it, but then I realized I don't have it. A certain nephew had it. A certain nephew. Alright, so I've been here. Any other untouched areas? Any other question marks? Yeah, there's one. There's an untouched area. Hmm, cool. And the train is close by it. And now, where's the... Say, okay, so, um... That's in water ducts. Anything else? says what and no joke Rory just asked about his dad oh I asked dad about Banjo Kazooie game like 15 minutes ago through through my games crazy coincidence Banjo Kazooie was awesome it was kind of like you know in the same era of like Mario 64 an open area? So nothing open and no question marks here. Just says the 64 is my favorite console of all time. Nice. Mine is, uh. I don't know. Super Nintendo? Maybe it's because of the age I was when it came out, but Super Nintendo was just so cool. Everything was still like this, like a 2D. 2D platformer. But the Super Nintendo introduced me to Final Fantasy in RPGs in general, Secret of Mana. The Zelda game on Super Nintendo is just all time. 
What's that one called? Uh, Link to the Past? Super Nintendo saw the introduction of Mario Kart. Other than that, I really liked PS2 <laughs> because it had Final Fantasy X and twelve, and all of the, um, not all of them, but most of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, I played those a lot. <laughs> yes, classic. This is Crystal, yep. Yeah. Um, so I guess I don't see anything else. There's got to be two more health capsules. There's the open top on the chasm here. Chasm, chasm. You'll hear me say it both ways. Uh, and then there's th that. Uh, I think that could be open there. Oh, and there's this big open outdoor thing that maybe I can fly across. In any case, I'm here right now. Oh, huh. Crystal says, Rory had to ask about the Roman numerals. He saw those too with the Final Fantasy games. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it was Waterways and right there. Okay, so we can check that out. Unless... Oh, cool. There's a train really close by. So... Please don't get taught Roman numerals anymore. Really? Yeah, I learned that in school, and I'll never forget it. Except that I'm not very good with, like... Like, when it gets to 50 and 100 and all that. I can't remember what's going on. So, is Jackie around? Alright, let's do some fast travel to that uh, water duck zone and see what that little open area is. It's just getting rowdy. Man, I want to play Banjo Kazooie now. You got me thinking about that. Oh, I should get a 64 emulator on this PC. I'm play some Banjo Kazooie. The thing is, though, you need the 64 controller. And if you remember, that thing had, like, not just the four buttons, but it had, I think, two and then a set of four. And every button did something. In, in Banjo-Kazooie, every one of those buttons did something. So I would need to go get a 64. Oh, okay. Chris says he's having bonding time. So Rory's in town. That's cool. Very nice. Tell him I say hi. And that, uh, I really like the shirts. The shirts he gave me are very comfortable. Very high quality. Oh my god. Get <laughs> me away from these things. What? I literally just haven't gone in here yet. Wow, okay. can go in the water. See, I wasn't always able to go into the water. So this would have been a challenge at the time uh, when I should have gone in here originally.
Oh, cool, it continues. But what's up here? Oh! Another uh, chip. Coolant soluble. This is a size shale. You can borrow it any time. We have all the remotes. Remember, Kazooie could crawl up mountains and attack his beak, and Banjo punches and they can swim. Yeah. I got pretty far in the game, and uh, it was challenging. I think I got to a level where I couldn't progress, and then I kind of fell off. I think I was in college by then. What's the new one I just got? The uh, This one. It moves heat more efficiently from the user's system. Okay, that's cool. So with this thing equipped, I can probably do my moves in those heat zones. All right. Yeah, so I played Banjo-Kazooie pretty far, and you know what I'm remembering now? I got to an area where I, I couldn't figure out how to progress. It wasn't that it, anything was too hard. So I couldn't solve it. Okay, perfect. So I wouldn't have been able to progress in here before, and now I can. Oh, that's electricity. This looks like some. Yes, another fragment. Hmm. Toy. So toy. All right. Sick. All right. I just need one more of those and. I think it's time to go fight what might be the final boss. Uh, except for... Um, where was it? Over here. That. I might be able to progress there. Alright, so let's go to the last bunker. Fast travel there. Where is my nearest train? Right down there where I came. Cool. Wait. Very cool. See, they, they gated that anyway to where I, I wouldn't have been able to progress through it until now anyway. So. Yeah, already went up there. Cool. And good. So. Come down. I'm sure I didn't miss any secrets over here. He's holding a thermal detonator. Um. Anyone watch the new um, Obi Wan episodes yet? Besides, uh, just uh, some minor Disney cringe. Uh, it's really good so far. Is that a different train? No, that's where I came from. Damn. Okay, we need to go to last bunker. see why I couldn't progress before and hopefully that's my last health capsule and it's time to go to the mainframe. Something I have to access from the other side but I mean look. Oh look and there's a percentage now. So maybe I can fly across from somewhere? I don't know. But also, wasn't there a... 
Why is that open up top there? Kind of want to go um, revisit that. Figure out where the heck I access this from the other side. Because look. And that must be where that last capsule is. Pretty cool. Uh, game. If that is indeed the final boss in the mainframe waiting for me, then the game is kind of short, but not horribly short. Uh, might be a really fun game to try to speedrun. Hollow Knight, you know, people can speedrun on that game in whatever. I can't remember exactly. 11, 11 minutes or something crazy. But, uh, to 112% uh, it's, it's uh, probably at least speedrunners are, I don't know, that's still over an hour? I don't know. I put 80 hours in. <laughs> to Wait, yeah. Cool. Hollow Knight was a long game. Beautifully long. So, no, I can't go up. Here or there. So, no. Big open top on there. Can't do anything. And I've been all through here. Alright, so I guess I'll go back outside. Get a heal here. Any other abilities that allow me to go up? Furthermore, let's see. Let's check into this shop here. I do believe I cleared it out. But... Go on, get out of here. Crawl back into your disgusting little hole. Ha, 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 ha. What else I found? And uh, it's definitely a ceiling there, but let's go ahead and fly all the way across. Can't. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, 
seen. Can't get a hop snare. There's gotta be something. Yeah, when the screen ends, your flying ends. So. from in there. No, I was just there. How else is there somewhere to access that? Alright, I guess I go fight that final boss now, but I know there's one more health capsule fragment. What about that? Is that open? Looks open, doesn't it? Sure does. Maybe that was a wall I could teleport through. Alright, back to the Forgotten Ruins. Where's the nearest... right there. Um, what do they call that place, though? Yeah, I guess that'd be Forgotten Ruins. Okay. Do this... There's something I'm missing. There's some way to get up there. All right, new follower, Omega Keyblade 26. Thank you so much. cover of um what's going Kingdom Hearts my Instagram there we go That's something I can access now. Maybe it's a power up that lets me fly up or something, or let's make it higher somehow. So I can figure out what the hell is going on up by the last bunker. Yeah. 
Yeah, I couldn't get through here because I couldn't teleport yet. Points! Nice. Alright, all new, all new. Oh, then it just connects back. Well, we got another one of those things. Now I got 97%. to that that mainframe vault battle wait is that no no it's got a white line that thing just baffles me also there's got to be a reason that the um, big chasm there like open at the top but you saw I can't do anything there Let's just go ahead for that boss battle. It was maybe a doozy. It was pretty hard. So nearest train. Probably that one. here the question mark is map sweeper that's what map sweeper is gives me those hints but I don't see any any other question marks all right to the mainframe vault then let's fast travel to pinions Just really racking my brain over this one. So where am I? Oh, I'm really close. Cool. Facility.
Oh, get ready to watch me fail in this boss battle several times. I didn't want to roll into a ball. Like, oh, I gotta still the water. <laughs> Looks like I've done all my exploring through there. close because it's probably going to take multiple attempts. Look how ominous this is. Oh my god. Here we go. Wish me luck. So I think there might be a series of these. I already fought the first one. It dives pretty quick. Without much cover wrap. So furthermore. comes for you. Oh, I forgot. I, I like lose a lot of money against these guys when I die. So let's go here and let's leave. For the first time, let's utilize the service. This says, are those spirits? It looks like it, right? Does that mean I can... Oh, that was an achievement for doing that. Wait, I can't get them back? Jeez. Son of a bitch, you kidding me? How do I get them back? Oh, by hitting the tree a million times? Yeah, look at that. That's how you do it. Interesting. Well, let's keep our money in... And let's go ahead and deposit it all. So that when we die against the boss, we don't lose it. Oh, wait. But, uh, that's actually kind of dumb. I can't heal now. I need at least a little bit to be able to heal. So let's, uh, I'll grab like 100 just to be safe. All right, fair enough.
and then yeah, you lose half of whatever you have. It's brutal. So when I first fought uh, the first one of these, I had like 4,000 currency. I died once and went down to 2,000 and then went down to 1,000 and then before I knew it, I only had a few hundred. This thing is really unpredictable and really hard to like dodge. That's a no go. No is. And that arm, dude, like, I can't even predict that. Stay away, come in for a quick hit, and just get the back out of the way. Where's that armor? Oh god, I went out every direction. Alright, first phase. The moves from the first phase. Plus, this new. I gotta really try to play defensive. to keep borrowing from my tree here. That move is bold. By the way, anything else going on? might not beat this thing in the stream. It is very hard. I wonder if it is the final boss. I'm almost dead again. I, I'm gonna get to a point where I'm out of money and I gotta go farm more money just to be able to kind of fight this thing. Good lord. 
I mean, I'm trying to dodge it. So here's a strat, only hit it in the air. Trying to hit it on the ground is a bad idea. It always has some way to respond. That brute force mode, you're like, all right, I'm dying, so. So close to getting healing. downhill fast, didn't it?
friggin' heal! So, first things first, I need a really successful phase one where I don't get hit. It shouldn't be too hard to not get hit in phase one. Follower, thank you so much. This is uh, Nello. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on this boss. <laughs> thank you for the sub. For the follower, follow here. Much appreciated. So anyone else out there that plays this game, uh, let me know how you like it or what other Metroidvanias you're playing. several hits. have a third phase, I'm not celebrating yet. Yep, sure does. Holy oh. this one? Oh my god, dude. Three phases and makes me think this could be a final boss. Time to panic, you know? Trying to heal, it's just not happening. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the worst. Yeah. The phase threes. Hard to keep your cool. Jeez. I'm 
try some different chips. <laughs> Arm is no joke. That chip that like has some kind of auto heal. I wonder if that'll help me. See if we can improve our chip game here. Haven't looked at these in a while. That I'll keep. That I will keep. <laughs> Good effort, thank you. Repairs the user's body faster while also reducing the number of spare parts needed. And that's I'll keep that. Okay, this I don't need right now. What is it? Automatically morphs the user's body when landing on the ground. What does that mean? Oh. Maybe I should wait. Huh. So that's the one I think could be useful. What does this do? Okay, this I don't need for a boss fight. That just makes the money come to me. That doesn't do anything. It's user's heat gauge. No, that's not gonna help. I wonder what... I don't know. Okay. Um. Oh, I do have it equipped. So I should be damaging when I uh, teleport through the boss. That should be damaging it. There. Yeah, I want to keep my crit chance. And then this uh, improves my speed. But what else do we have? Longer sword. I don't care about knockback. This could be cool. Uh, bombing could be cool. 
I think I'll keep all these. Alright. That should help me a little bit. Oh, except for the one, I don't know what it does. That. Does that help me at all? Huh. So I just uh, I land into a ball. For what reason? That be useful against the box. Let me see why that's useful. And what sh ship is that? I don't, I don't. I don't think that's gonna help. This green. Well, there aren't any other really good green ones. faster than walking, so maybe it'll help me get away, you know, get away from it and land it. Super helpful. So as long as I like, go long enough, it'll heal me. Okay, I love that shit. Let's see about teleporting through. It doesn't look like it's damaging. You know? stoked on that um, auto heal so if I'm you know just have an actual careful run here
I, I can't heal. I ran out of money. Holy crap. It's over. <laughs> These telegraphs are like the same. Thing. The dive bomb and the land so you need the arm, or the dive bomb and the land and that thing. try to calm down and play defensive and it still just stumps me. I thought it was going to do his little slime move there. That thing. Alright, I 
got a patience here. I'm trying to panic and go for the first again. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> Brute force, let's go for it. Brute force. Oh, cool. I went in the ball and couldn't heal. That's perfect. Just perfect. Thank you. Alright, gotta be careful of that, apparently. Make sure that when I land, I'm not in a ball. Long arm. Already. <laughs> That wall, there it is. I thought that wall was gonna come way sooner, that's why I was kind of chilling.
first. I got an achievement. The symptom. One health alive. Oh god. Ooh. Something's happening. My heart rate is like 130 at least. <laughs> Dude, a cutscene. Was that the final boss? Did I just beat the game? Wow. That was the final boss. I hope that like counts on my save file. Well, there you have it, folks. Haiku the Robot. What an amazing game. symptom of something bigger that is not the root cause. Meet me near the locked door situated at the lowest point of Arcadia. We must face the problem at its core. Okay, let's see. Wow. So there might be another boss. Or maybe this like end game now. The door at the very bottom. Probably that. And I think there's supposed to be three of those things anyway. Definitely a tough battle. Lowest points. Yeah, it's that. Okay, all right. So we need to head... All right, no problem. Head back to Forgotten Ruins. And where am I? Mainframe and... We'll go back up to that train. Wait a minute. He's still there. Counted though, because obviously like something different is happening when I, uh, when I came in this time. So. Oh, should have remembered that that thing does that. like end credits and everything so I guess we can say that I beat the game but there's obviously something more let's see what happens let's see if she has anything new to say to me
mentioning earlier, there's still some areas where I need a key, and then there's a key that I have that I don't know where it goes. Alright, let's hit the save points. Yeah, yeah, here's the door. Now it's no coincidence that our fates should be intertwined, both born to bring balance. My code, the missing component, and your sword, the conduit to bind them together. My existence is the key to healing Arcadia. I materialized when the virus was created, making me the opposing force to bring balance. However, the, however this is where my path ends. Beyond this door, you shall continue alone and face the truth. The fate of Arcadia now rests on your shoulders, little one. Oh my god. New achievement, balancing act. Cool. Okay, let's uh, actually, let me go. Oh, there's no deposit tree here. Oh, it's up there. I need some money. Just in case I have a feeling there's another boss battle. Oh, that was all the money I have. Alright, let's see what's in here. Lost archives. Oh, sweet! Is this where I can, like, fight any boss? Provides access to information about the origin context. Kind of like in Hollow Knight, the, um... Uh, you would hide the truth. Distort it, change it, bury it, or even destroy it, but uncorrupted truth will always come out.
in and let me heal. Oh, I'm out of money. One more hit. As well, so okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go farm some money, but uh, there was something else to uh, do in here. Let's just see what's past this. Oh, there's nothing past it. Or you can't get past it. Yeah, so no heals attempt. <laughs> Let's try it. This one have to, might have to be on my next stream, so maybe I'll do a little bit of farming so I have tons of gears. Or I just uh, go ham on a no hit, you know, no heal run here. Wow, it really is random. Okay, alright. Not letting me. Wow, that was really super annoying. So maybe I did fight all three before, and now this is all three of them. Because I, I remember one of the, one of these earlier, way earlier on. Time. Uh, let's go get a little bit of. Um, let's go farm a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm not like incapable of healing when I get in there. on that lawnmower a few times because my auto heals are spending my money here.
Oh yeah, I don't have my auto collects. So I actually have to physically collect the money. Four, that's good enough for uh, for an attempt. At least I'll be able to get some like auto heals in, maybe some actual heals. Fire one, I think, was the first one at way earlier in the game. This thing is... Second boss, the second one is pods. Hey, 
Cool, good enough for another attempt. in there. How about one more attempt? One more. This was a pretty accomplished stream, so I can come back and do this in a part seven, I guess. Uh, after all, it is kind of like end game, post final, post final boss end game material here.
Now that last phase is just really hard to get any opportunity to hit the boss. So, and I, I always run out of gears. Can't heal anymore, so let's just go in there with a few more. 35? Not bad. All right. Last attempt. Let's do this. Even unlock balance. Healing anyway. Ooh. It's my sword. Give me that. Give me that. Another another cutscene.
right, another kind of ending. Yeah, so 95% in 12 hours. Pretty short game, but man, not lacking. So now what? This is, this is better not be a boss battle again. Okay, cool. I can finally go past it. Rebirth Project Entry. It seems my end has come sooner than expected, so this will be my final entry. There is an undeniable strength to biological life, one much stronger than metal and steel. In truth, my task is complete. The seed has been planted and its roots run deep, locked between the broken crevices of this land. It's not a sentence. One way or another, nature will always prevail. That's it. That's it, my friends. So I think, um... I think beyond this, it's just like completing the little corners of the map I haven't figured out yet. Very cool. I'm stumped with that up there, so I might consult, you know, some online resources. And then just do one final um, it, um, installment in my long play, just to clean up the rest of the map and get that 100%. I'm also wondering if I go back to mainframe vault, if that other boss is still there. In any case, I should go in real life. Should be going. That's cool. I beat that. Very stoked. Two really tough boss battles completed on this stream. Uh, two that triggered uh, like the end credits. So that is pretty much it for Haiku the Robot, my friends. Thank you, everyone who joined this stream. This was one of my better streams. Uh, everyone that dropped in the chat. We got BJ Gardner, uh, one VJ Gardner. We got Crystal Stoney. We got Peak151. Thanks so much for joining. And... Thanks again. Catch me here for my final uh, installment in my Haiku the Robot long play where I clean things up. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Part 6. Pretty much finished the game. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.